Hello, Mr. Prentice here, and in this video, I just wanted to practice some solving in equations or solving some inequalities, just like how we would normally use with our equation skills. And hopefully, you know how to graph the answers on the number line, like I've done in my previous video. So, when we are solving in equations, we deal with them exactly like how we would a normal equation. However, we just have to keep watch our uh, keep our eye on what sign is being used for the in equation. So for example, what I mean by this, I'm going to go through just a basic example first. Just say I had 2x minus 5 is less than say um, 9. Okay? How we would solve this in equation is we go okay, this is yeah, it's a, it's an equation, but we want to know what x is. What values of x makes it so the left-hand side, 2x minus 5, is less than 9? And we go through and we can say, okay, I solve this. I'm going to add a 5 to both sides of the equation. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to add 5 to this side. And I'm going to add 5 to this side. So I am in, ended up with the left-hand side is 2x, okay, because I did minus 5 plus 5. And the right-hand side is 9 plus 5, which is 14. And then I want to get x by itself, so I would divide this one by 2, and I would divide this one by 2 as well. Okay, so I get x is less than 7. Okay, so this is how we would normally go through and solve that, and normally the question would ask you to therefore graph it on the number line and say, okay, here's my 0, here's my 7, doesn't really matter because I'm just putting two numbers on the scale but x is less than 7 so it's going through like that and it can't be 7 it's less than 7 okay you could then go through and just check to make sure you're right so for example just say I want to test 0 okay is 0 correct for this and I go through and I just put it back in my equation when x is 0, the left-hand side is 2 times 0, which is nothing, minus 5. So the left-hand side is minus 5, and the right-hand side is 9. So this one here, 0, I can just put a tick now, that's correct. Okay, that one did make this statement true, because 0 minus 5 is less than 9. And I could check any number along here, and hopefully it's true. So, for example, if I test 6... I could go 2 times 6, which is 12, and 12 minus 5 is, what's that, 12 minus 5 is 8. So 8 is less than 9, it's correct, so there was a tick there, wasn't it? But as soon as you get anything that's 7 or more, you can't, you'll find that it's not true. So if you tried 7, you would end up with 2 times 7 is 14, and 14 minus 5 is 9. Okay, so is 9 less than 9? No, it's not. It's, it's wrong. 9 is not less than 9, so that's why this is not true. If you try any number like that's larger, like 10, for example, then it would be 20 minus 5. 15 is less than 9, which is wrong. So any of these question numbers up here would make the statement wrong. Now, I just want to recognize some special cases some special cases when solving and they are the first, um, we change the sign change the direction when and I'll tell you what I mean by this um, about changing the direction uh, in this next example. But we'll change the direction when we are either going to... Um, first case is to just... If we swap the sides of our inequality or in equation. Okay. Uh, my next one I wanted to do is go through when we are multiplying or dividing by a negative number. Okay, so let's go through 
those. It's a bit, it's a bit messy, but there is. These are the times when we want to change the direction of our in equation. Okay, e.g. e.g. Just say I got five um, minus four x is greater than or equal to seven. Okay, five minus four x is greater than or equal to seven. So I want to get x by itself. Okay. So I go through and I don't want this five on this side. This is a plus five. So I'm going to take away five from both sides. So I take away five from that side and I have to take away five from that side as well. Okay, I'm left with just the negative four x now on the left hand side there. And seven, take away five, I'm left with two uh, there. Okay, but my next step, I've now got negative 4x is less than or equal to 2. So what I need to do is I need to divide this side by negative 4, okay, to make this side, the left hand side, equal to x. So what I've just done, I'll just put it here. I did negative 4x, that's what I had on that side, and if I divide by negative 4, then I know that these will be cancelled out and replaced with 1, and that's why I'm left with x. So I divided by negative 4. Okay, but my right hand side I also have to divide by negative 4, and therefore I'm going to get negative a half. Okay, that's going to get me negative a half. You can just use your calculator for that if you wanted to. So um, for the calculator, I just get. Uh, what was it? 2 over negative 4. You know, it told me it was negative half. But just realize here now, I have divided by a negative number. So instead of using the greater than or equal to sign, I use the less than or equal to sign. So here, I just wanted to point out, I changed the sign. I changed the sign. I just put in really big so that you can see what I've just done. And I could go through and test that. So, oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, so just say is my zero, zero, and I had a negative a half just here. Okay, so x had to be less than or equal to negative a half. Okay, so this should have been my answers. That would make that statement true. So for example, negative 1 is just over here. If I put negative 1 in my equation, this should be true. Okay, so I get my calculator, wherever it is. And let's check the left hand side. 5 minus, what was the left hand side? 5 minus 4 times x. Minus 4 times brackets negative 1. Okay, so if x is negative 1, then this side is 5 minus 4 times negative 1. So this side is 9, which makes this true. 9 is greater than or equal to 7. It was correct, see? I check it, and 1 was correct. There was my 1, negative 1, sorry. And that was correct. Whereas if I checked other numbers, like over this way, if I checked 0, for example, if I replaced in this brackets with 0, 5 minus 4 times 0 was, was 5. It's, it's not greater than 7, so that was wrong. I don't update my app now. Um, if I wanted to change the 1, uh, so just so I wanted to check another number over here, just so I want to check 5, it doesn't really matter. 5, who cares, whichever one I check. But if I just tr try 5 over here, then that is not correct. That if x was 5, then the left hand side's negative 15, which is not greater than 7, okay? So these are all the ones that would make this statement true, and these are all the ones that would make this statement false. Okay, the other case, so this was like if I want to multiply by or divide by a negative number, I just divided by a negative number there. 
Um, but sometimes you get some other things in the um, in the calculator. So, for example, uh, I could show you. No, I, I better not, because I just did it in my previous, in a more senior class. So, for example, let's just have a look and see what we have. E.g., just say I want to have a look at. It didn't load up. I might stop this video here. I'll just pause it for now. Okay. It stopped working for a second, so hopefully this is now a backup. So this next example, I just wanted to say multiply by a negative number and show you the sign change here. So I just wrote this. 3 is less than or equal to 5 minus x, which is less than or equal to 8. Okay? I want to know what x is. I don't want to know what 5 minus x is. Okay? So... It's actually got three parts, so it's okay, it doesn't really matter. I don't want the 5 with the x, I just want x. So I'm going to take away 5 from this side. Uh, that's not the left-hand side or the right-hand side, and this is now taking away 5 from the middle. Okay, so the middle, I'll be left with negative x. Okay, the left side, I also have to take away 5. And the right side, I also have to take away 5. So what I'm going to end up with is 3 take away 5 for the left side is uh, negative 2. Uh, and the right side is 8 take away 5, which is 3. Okay, so now I've got our in equation negative 2 is less than or equal to negative x, which is less than or equal to 3. Um, but I don't want to know what negative x is between. I want to know what x is between. Okay, so in this case here, to get rid of this negative in front of it, I'm going to times by negative 1. Okay, I'm going to times this one by negative 1. Okay, so if I've got negative of a negative number, negative 1 times negative x, I'm going to be left with positive x. Okay, but that means I also need to times this number by negative 1, and I need to times this number by negative 1. Okay, so this is going to become 2, and the right side is going to become negative 3. Now, if I look back at my laws, um, I change the directions when I'm multiplying by a negative number as well. Okay, I just timesed by negative 1. So therefore, what I want to do is make sure these signs get flipped over. So this is become this is going to be this way instead. So 2 is greater than or equal to x, which is greater than or equal to negative 3. Okay? I don't like the order of this, so I'm going to kind of flip it over. I wonder if I can flip it over, like flip the sign around no, I can't in this. I might be able to, actually. Rotate. No, it doesn't. It just rotates. I was going to say flip it. But this could also be written as negative 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 2. Okay, this is the way that it should be written. Okay, notice what I've just done. I've swapped the sides. Okay, so I can go, I'll go through exactly what I've done to these in another one, but instead of reading it this way, 2 is greater than or equal to x, which is greater than or equal to negative 3, um, what it should be is going this way instead. So negative 3 is less than, it's on the, the crocodile is not eating its side, is less than or equal to x, and which is an x is less than or equal to 2. So this is the way it should actually be written, because then, on the number line, my uh, numbers are in the right order. So I can just look at it and say, just say it's negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, whatever it kept going to. I know that x is between negative 3 
and colored in of course because it's all equal to and two and colored in because it's equal to so that should have been where my answer for x lies so that it's true okay so for example if x is zero that makes it true if x was zero then three is less than or equal to five which is less than or equal to eight okay so this is true going through the order okay my final uh, final one i just wanted to say when we when we swap the sides like i've just done is just sometimes with our in equations or sometimes with our um uh, sometimes with our equations what we get is eg i think this is like eg3 now or eg4 sometimes we get an equation we end up with like five is greater than or equal to x okay if we ever get a question like that we don't want to know what five is we want to know what x is so we normally want to write it as x as something is something and in doing this i'm changing the left hand side and the right hand side i'm swapping them over okay i'm swapping these two the sides around and when we do that we have to just always remember that we're also swapping these signs around as well so that's just that last one and you can see i've done that here i swapped the signs around or the sides around so i swapped the signs as well so that was just my last thing there i just made very short videos for this because um i know that we've got a very short session